and welcome to the Hambly Family DIY channel. Today, we will be reviewing this sewing machine. Now, I got this machine for my niece, who is super excited to sew. She wants to sew just like her auntie. And I got this one from walmart.com. It was very affordable. And I thought, let's give it a go and see how good this is for kids. So on this machine, we have the tension screw, the non-slip hand wheel, easy on and off switch, finger safe guard, two speed button, and the built-in bobbin holder. It also says it includes everything we need to make our first project. So we are gonna give it a go and we're gonna kind of make something cute, like one of these on the front. So these are the items you're gonna need. The batteries are not included and you're gonna need a pair of scissors to make this work. The first thing you wanna do is you want to make sure you read the instruction booklet and figure out what project you're doing and how to put the machine together. After that, we are gonna start our project. So the first step you're gonna to wanna to do is you are gonna to wanna to put the batteries in. Now you will need your parents' help to get the little screws out. And definitely be careful when you are putting them in. They each have a plus and a minus side and they correspond to the plus and minus side on the bottom of the machine. The number one thing is safety with this machine. It is a sewing machine, so it will have sharp parts. So if you're nervous or a little bit unsure, definitely consult your mom, dad, or guardian. Step two is we are going to identify our lever foot, which is this one back here. You are going to pick it up and it is going to raise the foot on the machine so you get space between the feed and the feet. You're gonna wanna make sure that your machine is threaded like this. Luckily, it does come threaded. Make sure the back of your machine has the thread coming out the back side like this. The white thread is gonna be on the bottom and the black thread is gonna be on the top. This is where you're gonna raise and lower your needle. So you're gonna wanna turn it to go up or turn it to go down. Make sure you're following the directions on the needle. Once you have your machine all set up, it is time to pick and start your project. For this project, I am going to do just a very simple heart. I'm gonna start with my fabric folded in half because I'm gonna use half of it to draw out our heart. Once I've drawn my heart, I'm going to cut it out with a pair of scissors. Remember, if this is too hard for you, make sure you have your parents nearby and they can help you cut out your pattern. As you can see, I have one half of my heart and when I open it up, we have the whole heart. Now we're gonna repeat this process on the blue fabric because to make your stuffed animal, you need a front and a back. I'm using the pink heart to trace around onto the blue. You should now have one blue heart and one pink heart. You're gonna wanna put them together like this. And this is where you start sewing. Now we're gonna go over to our machine and we are gonna put the fabric underneath like so, making sure that our needle is up so that we can get our fabric all the way under. Then we are gonna put our little foot down. This is gonna hold our fabric in place. Before you start to sew, you're gonna wanna pick a speed. I recommend starting on slow and then moving up faster if you'd like. And now we are going to start sewing. Here, I'm picking up the foot so I can turn the fabric and then putting it back down when it's where I want it. Now we're gonna leave a little bit open because this is where we're gonna turn the whole thing inside out and put our stuffing in. So you're gonna wanna pick the foot up, make sure the needle's not in the fabric and pull it away. This is where you take your scissors and you're gonna trim your thread. 
So my first thoughts on this is that it is not as easy as it looks, as you can see. I definitely struggled sewing it together. I'm gonna trim these up and then I'm going to go ahead and put the stuffing in and see how well these threads hold up. Now that it's trimmed up, we are going to turn it inside out so this seam is on the inside, just like you would on a pillow or a stuffed animal you have at home. I'm working on it, it's not as easy as it looks. If you guys run into trouble, I would definitely ask your parents to help you out because this can get kind of tricky and hard for your fingers. Now that it's inside out, it's time to put the stuffing in. You'll definitely want parental supervision when working with this so it doesn't go everywhere because this can be kind of tricky to pick up. You're gonna wanna make sure you get it all the way down to the point. That's gonna be the hardest part. Remember, you don't have to use all the stuffing. You can make multiple toys if you want to. Once we have our heart, it is time to sew up this last edge. So you're gonna wanna pinch them together and put it under the foot in your machine. Lower your foot with this knob, making sure not to get your fingers. And then you're going to sew. It's a little difficult to finish when you're got the stuffing in it. But once you're done, you pull it off, cut it with some scissors, and there you go. One heart. <laughs> so my final thoughts on this machine. This is a great machine if you have never sewed before, if you are a kid who wants to sew, if you have a kid that wants to sew, has never done it, you have no experience, and you're on a budget, this is a great machine for that. This is a perfect machine for starting and doing all the basic projects and workings of sewing. If you have any sewing experience, I would recommend getting a better machine. This is just too simple for anyone that's looking to up their projects. It's There's nowhere to go with this. This is a little kid's machine. <laughs> it's a toy. It is not for sewing anything hard or, or advancing your skills. I am so excited for my niece to try this machine. She's never sewed before. She's kind of afraid of my machines, so I'm ready for her to try this out and see if she's really excited about sewing. And that is all I have for you guys today. If you liked this video, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you want me to review any other products, any other projects to try. If you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I hope to see you guys next time.